Hey everyone, it's me Rylan. So I know it's been a little bit since I've made a video. Um, it is January 21st, 2019 at 11.21 in the morning. But this is so imperative that I make this video. I made a Instagram post about this where I wrote multiple paragraphs. It was like a five scroll thing and it got a lot of attention and I am so emphatic about it that I was like, I need to make a YouTube video about this. So here I am and I'm sure you can tell by the title what this is about. So here we go. I want to talk about how extremely important it is that I believe that people that have loved ones in their life that struggle with mental illness, how imperative, imperative it is and how paramount it is that they do research on mental illness and, you know, specifically the mental illness that their loved one has. I cannot stress enough how important it is to understand what it is their loved one is going through. There are not enough words in the dictionary to explain how important this is for whether it's a mom, a dad, boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, there should even be training in the workplace, I think. Um, you know, maybe not super in-depth, but for mental health training. But I want to focus specifically on loved ones to do the research to understand what people are going through. I'm going to use the common example of borderline personality, also known as BPD. Let's say, um, I'll even use, no, I'll just kind of use a vague example. Let's say two people are dating. Um, let's say it's a boyfriend and boyfriend. So let's say that, um, Jimmy has bipolar and Jimmy is dating Josh. Okay, Josh uh, knows that Jimmy has bipolar and Jimmy has abandonment issues and texting is really difficult for Jimmy and Jimmy is really afraid that if Josh doesn't text him back immediately, Jimmy views that as abandonment issues and immediately his thought process can turn to he hates me he doesn't want to date me anymore, I'm ugly, I'm worthless, and a whole slew of ugly negative self-talk. It's important for Josh to understand and to have done the research to understand that that's where Jimmy's mind can go to. So in order for that to have been done, Josh has to have done that research so he can allay Jimmy's fears and maybe say, you know, I'm gonna be at work today, but just know that I'm not gonna be able to respond right away, but know that I'm at work, I still love you. And then when he's not at work, try his best to respond right away. Or something personally that I found is really important is to turn read receipts on. That's something that works really well in my relationship as someone that has borderline personality disorder because that is one of my triggers and something that is a really sensitive subject for me. But as a family member or a loved one, if you're not doing the research, if you're not reading a book, if you're not on websites, or if you're not watching a YouTuber's um, page kind of like this, to learn about depression, anxiety, borderline, schizophrenia, whatever it may be, to gain the insight into the symptoms that your loved one is experiencing. How are you supposed to help them? How are you supposed to understand them? How are you supposed to help them in times of crisis when shit gets real? 
How are you supposed to know that someone with borderline might be self-harming? How are you supposed to know that someone with obsessive, obsessive compulsive disorder, maybe they were just diagnosed, that they may not just be um, the media's depiction of cleaning all the time, that OCD can also manifest itself in obtrusive thoughts, or maybe they have contamination fears. You won't know those things unless you take the time to research. And not only is that important for you, but these... This is important because it could also save a life. If you know these facts about these different mental illnesses, you can gain the insight to know warning signs. If you are aware of the symptoms of bipolar and depression or what a manic episode looks like um, for bipolar, you can see maybe what a manic episode looks like of delusional thoughts, of um, maybe what a psychotic episode looks like you can learn maybe when to enter, intervene and when someone should maybe be hospitalized. But again, if you don't take the time to look these things up, how are you going to know how to help this person that you love so much? And I can speak from a personal point of view that you can only lead a horse to water and it is up to you. It is up to the person that loves the, the person that struggles to take it into their own hands about how much they want to learn, how much effort, if they want to put in any effort to learn about this person's condition. Because I have had falling outs with people. I have been in crisis, begging, pleading, trying to understand, trying to defend myself to my friends and family to say, please understand what I'm going through because some people haven't taken the time to understand the extent that my illnesses affect my life on a daily basis. And when I'm in crisis, that is not the time for me to try and to explain my borderline is affecting me in this way. I'm afraid this person is abandoning me because they haven't texted me back. But if these people had simply taken the time to maybe do this or that, maybe we wouldn't be in that situation, but that's not their fault. Everyone has their limits. Everyone is willing to do what they want. And maybe some people are in denial. Maybe some people, like I said, people have their limits. You can only lead a horse to water. But I believe truly that it is remiss in your duties as a person who loves and is surrounded by someone with mental illness because it is an act of love and compassion to take the time and learn because knowledge is power and it is an act of love. So read the books, go on the websites, go to support group if you need to. I think people need to understand what they're dealing with and the most, as best they can to help the person that they care about because mental illness is extremely serious and I don't know. I just think you need to try your best. So that's what I have to say about the subject. And I really hope this wasn't too preachy, but I just obviously you can tell I feel really passionate about this because like I said, you could save a life with knowing the information and warning signs of certain mental illnesses of when to intervene. Crack open a book, y'all. Save a life. All right, bye.